Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing good. So uh, today's video is going to be on a most asked question on my Instagram DM is do we need German to study in Germany, to live in Germany, to get a successful life in Germany? And your yeah, answer is yes, you need German. To explain you why, why do you need German, I would like to explain it via a story, a short story of two best friends. So there were two friends, Mr. Tom and Mr. Law. They both were planning to apply in the German universities for their master's study. And luckily, they both got the admits from the same university and in the same course. Now they are planning to move to the Germany soon. They both have the similar profiles and the similar work experiences, but Mr. Tom had learned the German in P2 before arriving in the German. On the other hand, Mr. John avoided to learn the German because of his own several excuses, such as his classes are in English, so he don't need to learn German now. Or another reason was he used to give to the Tom is that he can learn German automatically once he will be in the Germany. Once he start living in that surrounding, he can easily cope up with a new language. So, after arriving in Germany, several months passed, and Mr. Oh, Mr. John realized that he is totally dependent on the Tom. He used to you know, he used to ask for the John, even John, for even understanding the letters for even building his CV and the German and to apply in the companies for the internship and jobs in German because he can't do them perfectly on his own. Even to talk with the customer care, he need to call John to do that for him. Even to do the smallest thing like take an appointment for the hairdresser to meet the job. He meets John at each and every stage while dealing with the public attention. So, after that, Mr. John realized and he became sad and touched what mistake he did previously. He didn't learn the German and now he is totally dependent on the Mr. John or on the Mr. Tom. And he found that he lost his freedom, he lost his independence. So, now it's your call. Do you want to like Mr. Tom or do you? Or you wanna like Mr. John? Now it's totally on you. So take your own decision on your own wisdom. I will like to recommend you to do German at least till B1 before coming to the Germany because it will going to help you in your survival in your day-to-day -day needs. So you can do German via any source. There are a lot of source out on internet and on the offline coachings you can do. Do by any method, any way, as per your choice. Recently, Bharat in Germany also launched its A1 course, and I go through that course curriculum. And as per my experience, I did my A1 from the Koethe Chandigarh by offline center, and uh, then it went B1 via online language Python. So after going through the curriculum of the Bharat in Germany course, I found that. They are providing you a lot more things than any traditional institute is currently providing in India or I guess in any other country. So you can choose them. It is also, I will recommend you to ch check their curriculum and their price ranges. It is quite a bit reasonable and good for your pocket as well. I will co also going to release a video on a brief comparison between the traditional and the PIG course after getting a more info on it. Uh, I guess by the end of this weekend I will going to release a comparison video and a review video on the Bharat in Germany course so you can check that as well. Till then if you are planning to enroll in BIG course you can support us by using our referral link which is going to be below in the description. So thank you for the watching. See you until in the next video. This is Manit Kera signing off from Hellogs, Bavaria.